G'day everybody, it's Matt here and today we're going to set up the square register. So I've got all the bits that I need here to get it up and running. I've got the register itself, the secondary display, we have our USB hub and our power cable and I've also got the extra mini USB cable here in case you're using it with the secondary display separated. So I'll run you through how to actually set this one up. Let's get started. I suggest before we do anything, leave the plastic protective cover on the screen of the register, uh, just because you're gonna be tipping it up a bit. So just keeps it safe until we're done. On the bottom of the register here, we've got two micro USB ports and that is what we're gonna use for power and also if you're using this display separately. So first up, for this display, if you're using it as a standalone display and not sitting on the back of the register, you've got this little micro USB plug in here where that's going to connect to. So we would take this cable, our micro USB cable, and that's just going to slot in there and lock in nicely into that space. And then the other end, we're going to want to connect to either of these two ports in the bottom of the register. So we would just be taking it and putting that one into that slot there and it'll slot in nicely. So that's that bit. Now, if we're using the secondary display attached to the main display, then we don't need to use this cable at all. We don't have to worry about it. So I'll take that back out. Instead, we'll line this up. So we wanna line up that black piece, the heel, with this little slot here in the register. And basically that's going to slide in and you want to press this until it clicks in like so. And that's now locked in and we've got that attached to our register to run the secondary display. Underneath this, we need to have our USB hub. So this one, again, that mini USB, it's got five USB ports and an ethernet port and then power connects into this end of it. So this one's really important. This one is going to connect Again, either one of these USB ports on the bottom of the register, it doesn't matter which one, whichever is more convenient for your placement. We'll plug that one in. So we've now got our hub here connected. Next up, we wanna connect our power to our hub. So that little hole in the end of it is where this is gonna go. We take that out, that's our transformer. And we'll plug this into the end of that. So just lining that up and in. Next step is connecting our power cable into our transformer. So just take that one out of its paper and we'll plug that one in to there. So that's two pins just lined up and in like so. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into a power point. So that's it, we're all good to go. If you're using a receipt printer or a USB cache drawer, you can plug those into the USB hub here. If you need to use ethernet connectivity, you can also plug that into the hub here. Otherwise, the register does have Wi-Fi support built in. And we're all good to go and turn it on. So you'll find that power button located on the bottom of the screen here. So that power button is located just here underneath this tab on the bottom of the screen. So just there is the power button in the middle at the bottom of the screen. So you can go ahead and press that and turn it on. So you want to press and hold that power button for about five to 10 seconds to start it up. And you can remove that protective cover and you'll see that our screen is starting to come on. And we've got very similar on the rear side of the display on the secondary one also lighting up. So let's press this big blue get started button and get underway. First step, language. So choose the language most relevant to where you're located and then click that blue next button on the right hand side. From here, we have to accept the terms and conditions. So accept, then we wanna connect either Wi-Fi or ethernet. Mine has detected that I've got a ethernet cable plugged in and it's showing here now as connected. And so I can proceed. If I'd put in Wi-Fi, it would also be showing here that it's been connected, which it's not currently. Once you've got your network set up, you can click that next button to continue. Now we wanna set a time zone, which it will keep up to date. Choose your time zone from the list and then click the next button. There you go, your device is now set up and localized on your network. I'm ready for your 
account login details or you can create a new account from this screen. If you already have an account, click that sign in button and you'll be prompted to enter your email address and password. Or if you've already set up device codes, you can tap up here to use a device code instead and simply enter your device code here. So that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to like it and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me. Bye for now.